Different materials react differently uh, to CNC laser engraving and cutting. So today we'll take a look at that. In a previous video, I showed machine repeatability across different materials. Our Austrian CNC laser is able to do basically the same job across multiple materials, it doesn't really matter, within five nanometers. So it basically means that whatever we do is identical to what we did before, because you'll never notice if we're off by five nanometers. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is go material by material, and I'll just showcase things that you should keep in mind uh, when we do this kind of work. One of my favorite materials to work with here at the shop is acrylic because we're able to color change it as you can see here. The white was done with a fiber laser which is 30 watts in our machine and the cutting was done with a CO2 which is 110 watts again in the same machine. We can do this stuff all day and it's great fun to see how just a laser touching plastic doesn't actually melt it, it just changes the color properties of the surface of the plastic. So this uh, this is basically the same speed as annealing stainless steel. So it's a very slow process, but it's incredibly precise. And the advantage is it's not screen printed or anything added to the material. It's the material itself that became white. The advantage to that is if you put this thing, let's say in a corrosive environment, where we, you know, we would seal it up, you wouldn't have a chance of anything coming off. It's just permanent. It's part of the plastic. It's part of the surface. Let's take a look at the next one being made. The next material I did was this white acrylic. What we used for this was CO2 all the way through, which dramatically increases the speed of production. While this is very slow, the white part, this is all just CO2 work straight. So everything's engraved in one pass and then afterwards it cuts it out. Let's take a look at the next one. As you saw, this does not provide a lot of contrast if we had a project with this. So we can do the same thing using transparent acrylic. 
Now what's really cool about this is you could shine a light through it and you could see the contrast and all the detail that you would actually see on this one if it wasn't a solid color. The nice thing about acrylic is we can get this in pretty much any shade of any color that you want. So if you wanted this to be yellow or blue or green with semi-transparency, we can totally do that. We also get this material in a bunch of different thicknesses, again, across all the acrylics. So acrylic is a really nice material to use because it's incredibly flexible. Let's take a look at the next one. Next on our list is laminate. Here is what it sort of looks like. So it looks, this one here looks like metal without the cost of metal, but also doesn't last as long as metal. So every material has a plus and minus. In this case here, we just CO2 laser engraved off the first layer of the uh, metal looking plastic, and then we cut directly through it all the way around. Like the other acrylics, this makes a lot of fire in the machine. Uh, but we're, we're fine with that because we got a very powerful extraction system and we have a lot of air going throughout the machine. So any sort of fire doesn't have a chance to, to basically uh, propel itself throughout the, the workpiece unless it's very, very hidden. Now we also have a vacuum table and a bunch of other things in our machine uh, so that the results we achieve with this here are nice and consist consistent across the board. Nice thing about laminate is you can get it in almost any color combination. So if you wanted what you see here as black, if you wanted that to be white and you wanted this to be green or blue, or you wanted it to look like copper, we could do that with laminate. Um, so let's take a look at the next one being done. And the last one we'll take a look at is MDF. The advantage of MDF is that it's incredibly cheap material. It cuts really, really fast. Um, we could also get it in a bunch of different thicknesses. So depending on the application, we can use, uh, have different results on the material itself. The other advantage to this over acrylic is that we can also stick this in the CNC router and actually have dimensional drawings or whatever you want on here, like a 3D perspective. Uh, while using the laser to cut out other shapes. And now you know how we did all of this. I'll probably end up doing a video like this probably every couple of months because I have a bad habit of leaving these with customers. But the good thing about it is they take a look at it, they're amazed, and they give us projects. So it's sort of a win and win. I'll see you in the next video.